a strong, stern warning about just the words that come out of your mouth saying, you know, every idle word that men shall speak, they're going to give account thereof in the day of judgment. People say a lot of really stupid, flippant things about God, about the Bible, about Jesus, and they make a mock and they think it's so funny. But Jesus is warning, you know, hey, be careful with the things that you say, even if you, you, you think they're not, you know, they're funny or it's not that big of a deal or whatever. And of course, this comes off the tail end of them saying, you're just casting out devils by the prince of the devils, by Beelzebub, right? He's referring still in the context of people who are, uh, you know, casting out his name and casting out the name of, of God just and just being disdainful towards everything that he's doing. And this is why, he's, you know, he's talking about... Um, giving account of those words in the day of judgment. We know that as believers, the things that we say, you know, even all the sinful things that we say and do, they're all forgiven through Christ. So in the day of judgment that this is referring to, this is referring to, you know, God casting people into the lake of fire. This isn't referring to like the judgment seat of Christ. And he says, for by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by the words thou shalt be condemned. Why are we justified or condemned by our words? Because if you call on the name, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And when you're saved, you're justified in the eyes of God through the blood of Jesus Christ. That's what saves you. That's what justifies you. So calling on God, hey, those words right there save you. But every other words, all the other things, all the other wicked, sinful things that people say and do, you know, that's ultimately going to condemn them. So this is something that people really ought to take more seriously. And that's a stern warning right there.